how are you? Hi, Judy. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. And how do you pronounce your first name? Z? Yep. Z. Like, All right. Uh, Z. Right. Yeah. And you are a singer-songwriter, right? Yeah, and I think I'm more of a demo writer right now. Okay, so we, you'd like to turn into a little bit more of a singer. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell me about the issues. Uh, first of all, where are you in, in space? Where, where are you located? In Singapore. In Singapore. Isn't that cool that we can, you know, be right together here <laughs> from Nashville to Singapore? Yeah. Of course, it's night in your world, right? Yeah. So and, we're across the globe right now. Yeah. And it's morning in mine. So I love it. Uh, okay. So tell me about uh, your voice as you're doing what you do with it with when you're songwriting uh, so uh, sometimes when I sing for longer periods of time or when I get to the higher notes then it sounds more fatigued or uh, more stressed out so yeah. so it actually feels more fatigued and sounds kind of tight and thin uh -huh. right yeah right. you know it's funny we get it mi we get mixed up sometimes in what it sounds like and what it feels like but the truth is, if it feels a little tight, it's gonna. If it feels bit tired or, or stressed in any way, or t you know, strained or anything like that, it also sounds uh, less open, less resonant. Yeah. <clears throat> and you're gonna get a negative uh, impact on your on your singing voice unless you want to sound tight for some kind of character. <laughs> Yeah. So, so that is true. So let so you can kind of trust how it feels. When it starts feeling better, you can guarantee that it's mm. maybe starting to sound better. So let's get it. Let's get let's get the feeling changed. The first thing I want you to do is just show me what you're doing. Just sing for me. Good, okay. And, and stop. Let's go that far again. And I want you to change a couple of things. That's awesome. Okay. What I want you to do is sit with your guitar, you know, sit, sit uh, with your head tall mm -hmm. over your tailbone. Okay. Right. Right. And then take your guitar and you're going to use your guitar, even though you're not playing, if you were playing, you'd use it uh, to, um, to help you stay tall. Okay. So, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be sitting really tall with it mm -hmm. instead of slumping over it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, just with that posture change, sing the same song again. Okay. Okay. Because we're gonna A B, you know, when you change something, so you can notice if there's a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can Shani? Okay, good. Yeah, and good. Let's go that far again and let's change something else. Uh, first of all, did that feel like you had more breath? Yeah. It did. Yeah. Okay. I want you to sing this beautiful song like you're talking to people that need to read your lips, like the deaf or people like me that don't speak Mandarin but would love to. And uh, uh, and over you know, over pronounce the words. Okay. Really, in in the service of delivering a message, uh -huh. instead of just just doing it like this. Yeah. When we're songwriting, songwriting is an internal process, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. When you're and the problem with that is your voice doesn't exist to just think. 
Your mm -hmm. voice exists to communicate. And that requires more of your face, just like I'm talking right now, instead of talking like this. Okay. <laughs> now, before you do this, let me show you, uh, let me let you feel the difference. I want you to count and count in Mandarin, count to five loud without moving your jaw or your eyes. So in, in English, it would be one, two, three, four, five. Okay. You do it. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Do it loud without moving your jaw or your eyes very much. Right. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Now, move your eyes and your jaw like you're feeling a little crazy and do it again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. How much better did that feel to your throat? Less tense, I guess. Let's use your name. Z Ming. Say it without moving your face. Z Ming. Now. Okay. Now, move your face like you really want somebody to understand what you're saying and say it again. Z Ming. Uh, and the Z, drop your jaw a little bit. Z, on E words, you need to drop your jaw a little bit more. Try that. Z Ming. Yes. Do you notice the difference in the feel? Try it again, tightly and open. Okay. Z Ming. Z Ming. Right. <laughs> What did you know? Really sounding like I'm trying to pronounce to someone. Oh yeah, I know. But yeah. don't worry about don't worry about overdoing it for right now. What I want you to notice though is the difference in the tension level, which is your issue. Uh -huh. You feel it yeah. feels better to your throat, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That was so much better, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, it felt better because I guess, yeah, because I did um, sing in the choir before, and um, I guess so. When I sing in the choir, I, I don't have to play the guitar, I don't have to really look at the lyrics or, or anything, and I'm trying to. And I also do the, the, the air, the, what do you call that? The eyes and the jaw dropping, like yeah. it's more natural yeah. for me. But right. when I sing for, um, like when, when I'm recording or something, I, sometimes I feel that it's uh, unnatural to do that. Like, uh, right. it would be That's too much. That's a good something. point. Here's the yeah. thing. The next time you record, and, uh, and, and you know, when you're, when you're re recording your demos for your songs, Imagine exactly what we just did. Figure uh -huh. out who your lyric is to. Okay? Right. Put them right across from you. Don't sing to the pop filter. Most people do. <laughs> don't sing yeah. to the engineer if you have an engineer. Uh, uh, most, most people either sing to the pop filter or the engineer. They, you know, they usually are not who the lyric is to. Okay? And yeah. the pop filter, good luck making the pop filter feel anything. Instead... Sing past the pop filter to uh -huh. a spot on the wall <clears throat> that represents the heart you're talking to, your lyric is to, okay. and use your eyes. Mm -hmm. And another thing that you can do, let me show you something. This is something I use with my, uh, with my guitar players and piano players a lot. Use a stick that represents your guitar Especially okay. if you start playing right, uh, you can use a stick to represent your guitar so you feel like you're on stage. Now, that is if you're used to playing the guitar correctly. You can't be slumping over your guitar. Yeah, right. right? And if you not don't have a stick or your guitar, you can use your fingertips to widen your rib cage. Okay? And uh, if you want to go farther with this training, I do have a course you, you might want to look at online called Singing in the Studio. And it will, it'll teach you all these things and a lot more about triggering the right psychology so that you're delivering messages rather than just singing words into space like a flashlight beam, you become a laser beam. And you'll notice that makes your throat feel better. And when your throat feels better, it sounds better. So use your eyes, yes, you, use your eyes, it's like acting. Use your eyes, use your jaw in the studio, be time traveling. Imagine that you're with that person, 
okay? Uh -huh. And just deliver the message. And I think you're going to notice a big difference. Yeah. Okay? Mm. All right. Well, thank you for uh, being with me today. Yeah. Thanks for all your help and advice.